Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a podcast and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, <coughs> knowledge, experience and wisdom from thousands of successful individuals from around the world. I am your host Ashutosh Garg and today I'm delighted to welcome a very accomplished serial entrepreneur from India, Mr. Monoranjan Borgohen. Mono, welcome to the show. Thank you so much uh, Ashutosh for this uh, uh, opportunity. Thank and you. It's it's been kind of uh, so overwhelming to to be part of your show thank you so much uh, monu is the chief executive officer of dietos solutions private limited in india he's also the ceo of dietos private limited in singapore and e to e hiring private limited from india monu is also an award winning business leader a serial entrepreneur and a hardcore techno functional leader and he has been recognized, felicitated, and awarded several times. So, Mono, in your amazing journey, uh, let's first talk about dieters. Um, and even before that, maybe tell me a little bit about your background and what got you started in this area. Um, so, I, I started uh, um, dieters. Uh, uh, exactly four years back. It's mm-hmm. gonna be fourth year anniversary this uh, this month. Then. Oh, congrats! And uh, yeah, and uh, and before that, um, um, I had uh, sixteen years of uh, experience in the corporate uh, uh, industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also uh, my journey is a little bit tricky uh, in 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 the sense. Um, from a slow starter and then move into geophysics. Uh, mm-hmm. I was doing an MTech in geophysics, and then mm-hmm. uh, uh, I thought let's change the stream from uh, you know study of earth science to uh, a software, and then mm-hmm. I came to Bangalore, and uh, that's when I I did my computer uh, master degree, and mm-hmm. then started my journey as a uh, IT professional. Mm-hmm. So which oh, is right. uh, spread across uh, multiple um, um, companies and and domain. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, about dietos, what do you do here, and what is the meaning of this unusual name? Uh, dietos is uh, I have uh, four companies at this point in time, and uh, dietos being the first one and the primary one. Mm-hmm. Um, in in dietos, we we develop softwares um, for as a product, as a services for other other companies. We also help uh, companies in in consulting. Uh, uh, business as well. Mm. The name uh, of uh, Dietos is very interesting. It took mm. me more than a week to find out that name. I didn't want to create a just a company, right? And then I wanted to really create a brand, mm-hmm. right? And then when you look at all these brands, you know, Apple, Samsung, Amazon, and all that, right? So I wanted to have a very short name, mm-hmm. uh, which can carry to multiple businesses. I truly inspired by the name Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com, where, you know, Mm. there's a, there's a, there's a sign from A to Z, right? So, Mm. and, and they carry to multiple uh, businesses. So I wanted to have the name, uh, something inspired from there. Uh, Back in 2018, um, in India, uh, government of uh, India initiative called Digital India, and Mm -hmm. it was like at the, at the peak. So I also inspired truly true Indian uh, from heart, you know, father yeah. being from uh, defense background. Mm. Uh, I wanted to really have that flavor of uh, uh, in, in, in the name. Mm-hmm. So with a lot of permutation and, and combination, I thought um, I'll give the name as Dietos, which stands originally, initially Digital India A to Z Solutions. And wow. later we started our offices in uh, Singapore and now mm-hmm. this month uh, we are actually in Texas as well. Mm-hmm. So then we changed the name from Digital A to Z, uh, Digital India A to Z to Digital A to Z. Wonderful, right? So, <laughs> and uh, we wanted to go to uh, every digital, uh, uh, you know, products and services where the name, uh, you know, doesn't really cater mm-hmm. to any any one business. Yeah, wonderful. So as a as a startup entrepreneur. What have been some of your challenges as you have built from a single company to multiple businesses? Uh, all my four companies are bootstrap. It's organic, mm-hmm. self-funded. Um, and uh, self-funded meaning it's all the employees are actually mm-hmm. funding it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, the, the organic self-funded um, uh, companies always have to go through a lot of um, 
um, challenges, uh, mm-hmm. right? So, however, those challenges are are kind of uh, motivating us uh, on a daily basis, right? And then we wanted to do something great, make a difference. So these challenges are actually manageable and and, and minimum. However, uh, you know, you get to know when you have to uh, pay something, the operational cost, the mm-hmm. salary, the all that, right? And and we. It, when you don't have support from government, for example, mm-hmm. or um, or any investors or any financial institute, mm-hmm. these challenges are actually um, you know too much to to handle it. Mm-hmm. However, uh, I always feel proud, and that statement is like uh, Don Bradman, um, you know, hundred uh, is ninety nine point nine or so, but then mm-hmm. one was duck duck out, so it was never been you know hundred percent. But so far, yeah. our uh, our credibility in terms of uh, paying our guys mm. from day one of 2018 until today, we never miss any salary. We never delayed any salary. So uh, I feel really uh, proud about uh, uh, that. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Uh, you are also in three uh, business verticals, digital solutions and services, digital products and consulting. Tell me about each of these and maybe the kind of work that you are doing in each. Uh, digital solution and services are 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 kind of revenue generation um, uh, stream, right? Since mm-hmm. we are bootstrapped, so we need a need a way to earn. Mm-hmm. So digital solution and services is what we do is we 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 develop software for um, uh, other companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, the companies are from startup uh, uh, companies uh, to uh, million billion dollar companies like Mahindra, LNT, uh, Comviva, mm-hmm. and and so on and so forth. As part of uh, digital product, uh, which is basically the the main force, the driving force, the passion mm-hmm. that we mm-hmm. uh, that we live with, is is uh, basically a, a initiative from uh, Dieto's Innovation Hub, mm-hmm. uh, where we develop uh, uh, products. So mm-hmm. one of the product that uh, getting a lot of traction in the market is E two E hiring itself, mm-hmm. which is basically completely funded by Dieto's itself, mm-hmm. and E two E hiring is also a separate company now. So that's uh, what we do in digital product product uh, development. Mm-hmm. The consulting is another uh, way of uh, getting revenue where we help uh, biggies, uh, big uh, ID industry um, fulfilling their um, HR needs, mm-hmm. right? So that's where that's what we do in consulting um, um, service. Okay. And uh, you just spoke about E2E hiring. Tell me a little bit about it because I noticed the T-shirt you're wearing is also an E2E hiring T-shirt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's probably a branding. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money to spend on marketing and branding. Not at all. So, no, not at all. Uh, <laughs> so I decided to wear my T-shirt everywhere yeah. I go. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it we hiring is uh, is a is a problem statement that uh, dieters faced, and we still we are facing that uh, when we mm-hmm. try to scale up, uh, mm-hmm. right? In terms of uh, talents. So two years back. Um, uh, we reach out to a lot of uh, these giants, right? So I'll not mm-hmm. name them here, but then uh, uh, we reach out to them for talents, for resumes, for mm-hmm. um, uh, for candidates. And then we end up paying a lot of money without really having luck, right? So all, all 90, 95% um, resume for which we pay uh, mm-hmm. these giants, uh, we never got uh, anyone. So it is, again, different means that we have to uh, uh, get through to, to, to get someone. Mm. Now that's where I thought, and then there are again uh, giants who help in assessments, um, where you can like uh, hacker rank, for example, sure. right? They give us ass- assessment. Mm. Again, there we need to pay a lot of money, advance uh, credit. We have to buy and then take their uh, services. Mm. We have ATS platform, we have HRMS platform, and all that, right? And we end up paying everywhere uh, without really hiring anyone. Mm. So for me. Uh, and when I talk to my friends, for them, that's the same uh, pain they go mm-hmm. through. It's like uh, you know GST versus you know you know you have to pay you have no options. So, sure. <laughs> so, yeah. so then we thought, okay, let's build something. Let's build where we are not gonna charge anyone for what we feel the pain, mm-hmm. right? So looking at someone resume, downloading someone resume. Asking someone to take an assessment, mm. um, you know, all that is not going to be charged. So two years back, we started this uh, development. Mm. Uh, four or five months back, we also launched this product. Now, what it basically does is it's an ecosystem that we are building. You mm. have a job seeker. 
you have the employers mm -hmm. and then we thought let's go to the grassroots level so we are tying up with educational institute okay. training institute mm -hmm. and then completing the entire cycle uh, circle in in across uh, pan india and uh, now to fulfill another need in that ecosystem is also uh, we wanted to give back at the same time so yesterday itself um, uh, shutosh we started something called e2e mentorship program mm -hmm. where people are uh, and that's part of csr so we are not going to charge people uh, you know which is accounted for our revenue mm -hmm. right so we started the first batch yesterday and uh, the the outcome that we are expecting from this program mentorship program is to how we can make someone job ready mm -hmm. right so they already spend 4 5 years in their engineering and then uh, learning various subject but then when it comes to uh, a job and execution they are not there mm. so we thought this is another way to actually also bring in the, to the ecosystem so it we hiring is about building this ecosystem it's about bridging the gap between job seekers and the employers mm. and without really charge them so we never charge job seekers we never charge uh, institute we never charge training institute mm -hmm. we never charge employers looking at someone resumes there are a lot of ai powered uh, mm -hmm. there are eight ai 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 powered softwares are being included to develop this mm -hmm. all these are um, not going to be charged yes of course there is a earning that has to happen from etv hiring mm -hmm. it's that you know you don't pay us any penny but then when i'm solving your problem probably that's when you should uh, uh, mm. pay me which is 90 80 to 90% lesser than what you actually pay to a consulting uh, uh, wing very so that's a yeah. yes very very interesting and i think it's a great model that you are developing but moving on monu you know uh, you've got businesses in india singapore and now the us you've uh, you, you just mentioned that a lot of the employees are uh, supporting also the funding along with you what would you say is your leadership style you know you're obviously getting very very good people and across multiple countries uh that's a great question and uh, i i don't know uh, what is leadership mm -hmm. skill honestly because i am from a tech background and mm -hmm. i never gone to any b school um, uh, you know honestly mm -hmm. but then i go with the natural uh, uh, ways of uh, uh, leading something right so what i look at a particular leader is what i also want to be for mm -hmm. example i have a nice cabin uh, in my office but i never sit there i mm -hmm. sit with my uh, team i do coding with them mm -hmm. i uh, and i go out hang out uh, you know uh, i don't go to five star i just go to you know places where they like to go i mm -hmm. go with them and and uh, that's how i probably belong uh, where i belong and that's mm -hmm. how uh, i enjoy and uh, i'm i'm really happy about uh, uh, being with the team and it's always going to be like that and yeah. and god grace and uh, you know i pray to god that that never happens that you know the five star culture uh, get into me the mm. the mercedes bmw culture goes into me i i really pray to god that because uh, probably i i'll not even know how to handle this so Wonderful. god please uh, get me out of this i'm happy yeah. where i am right now fantastic so let me now move on and ask you a few questions about uh, dietos or digital a to z uh there are a lot of discussions that are going on on what is going to happen in the digital world so let me start by asking you that what in your opinion are some of the opportunities the pandemic has thrown open um to enhance the digital economy um uh, i think uh, if you look at the newspaper uh, and also the articles right what we have seen is india i think produced the highest number of unicorn right mm. the last year yeah alone right and that's probably I still call it as pandemic um, um a period and i see reuse paper today and again there are some stories mm. coming up <laughs> there so which is yeah and uh, another uh, another thing that i i, I look at uh, personally right and 16 years i have seen um how the the payout happened to to employees right mm -hmm. and i think this is the best time uh, our employees are are getting it mm. um because the companies are in hurry to to do digital transformation mm -hmm. because so far they were like um, you know in the same space same location mm -hmm. um, in the office space they have to they are managing their their software or they managing their business but right mm -hmm. now 
that changed that changed forever probably mm. so now people are moving towards a digital transformation and also as i said a lot of unicorns are coming in the employment uh, the, the 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 salary that goes is also uh, increasing so we see tremendous shift mm-hmm. uh, from how we operate before pandemic and uh, and now there was a survey that i was uh, reading i think 70% of uh, the ceos are like sped up their uh, digital transformation plan saying that you know mm. if not now then never mm. so yes the digital space has been changed completely with uh, with the pandemic and the, the way that the entire corporate works it also changed mm. Mm. and from the perspective of the hiring uh, business i'm sure you've heard of the great resignation that seems to be affecting a lot of people around the world what are your thoughts and is it happening in india also it is happening in india and uh, as i said the pay is getting higher i would say it's a concern as well for me uh, ashutosh honestly uh, because i i kind of seen everything right so mm-hmm. 21 or uh, 2001 situation the 20, 2008 situation Uh, recession and all that now pandemic uh, situation right so uh, i'm kind of worried as well at the same time i'm not against people are getting higher salary which is good because um, mm-hmm. uh, you know it, it creates a lot of uh, um, you know at times not having money is also difficult mm-hmm. but then the way it is all expanding and the people changing their job uh, from one to another within mm-hmm. six months mm-hmm. so as i said i'm also into consulting uh, business yeah my client said that can you please give me a guy who you can promise at least they will stay for one year i said no i can't give yeah. because i'm facing the same problem mm. and uh, i have to some it's again my personal point of view right not mm. really uh, um, the survey or something mm. dietos itself i think probably one or two person left before pandemic okay and after pandemic everyone started working from home mm. right and uh, we also lose track for for some various reason mm. and then i saw suddenly the the spike in the in the resignation mm-hmm. right a small company like us where we we do a lot of crowd work right and uh, we we and the, the people get into our company is very easy right mm. so you just need to have the right attitude mm-hmm. um so there is a shift happen and then uh, everyone is clueless and then i was talking to one of my um, mentor who works for um, kind of big company very large billion dollar company mm-hmm. i said this is what i'm facing i mean forget about your yours is very small and uh, i am facing that problem and my attrition rate is probably higher than you mm-hmm. um, so that's that's a global uh, and perpetual problem now mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. uh, we don't know how to solve it right. at the same time when i talk to these young guys the shift is happening between this 1 to 5 years of experience mm. there are like a lot of movements happening all i tell my guys that you have the rights to decide your career but remember one thing these are a spike because people have money the company have money there are so many unicorns they want to move faster mm. but what if after a year what mm. if after a two when people look back your re- resume and when they have to decide and mm. this good time if it may not may not exist mm. um, after a year then then what's going to happen mm. so always make your profile in such a way that look at you know five years have stability have learning um, mm. um, path and then decide do not look for the money too too early and uh, right. and too much right mm. so you might get into trouble so that's my that's the worry factor because i have seen where people have been taken to home when Correct. they go out for lunch you know you you come into this and tell me your house i'll drop you so mm. i mean it's a it's the great hire also a fire also i have seen right so now mm. you are seeing the great hiring problem i have seen the great firing problem as well so i think we should be careful about that and take decision cautiously well said well said the other question that is also coming up and again i'm sure you are noticing this that are, the, the the entire gig economy seems to be uh, reaching a stage where people are saying i want to have multiple sources of income and no fixed job what are your thoughts my thought is very simple uh, do not look for money I, i personally again i i as i said right i don't look for money i don't even 
yes i need money to run my business and if you mm. if i have one of my great friends said that you know earn money and put it in your pocket mm. because when you have it you feel the confidence but don't spend on anything uh, 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 you know right. unwise right mm. so um, I, i would say that look after your health mm. look after the work that you enjoy and earn because that's the only reason see going going out doing workout is all good but then if you are not mentally uh, happy mm. or mm. Uh, peaceful whatever you are doing uh, whatever hours the number of hours you are working on mm. if it is not then running behind that money would actually end you uh, reduce your life span uh, right. uh, drastically right and uh, you are just doing it because you want to earn money you are mm. not doing because you enjoy that work so uh, i would really say that you know careful about uh, doing doing it and and you are right uh, i'll just give you one example where um, uh, not just geek workers right so uh, our so called it engineers mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, i have discovered and my um, my partners also discovered that a few guys are w- having dual employment mm-hmm. right so and that's against policy for any right. company right correct uh, dual employee and when i get to when i get to see that uh, you know there is a background verification coming into our hr mm-hmm. department they're mm-hmm. saying this guy i got a background verification as well how how is it possible the person is still in our payroll <laughs> so mm-hmm. how is it so the the entire etiquettes that we call it as right the, the corporate etiquettes the personal mm-hmm. etiquettes mm-hmm. i i think kind of being um, a challenge there i would say that you know being human being um, being nice being Uh, you know do what what is kind of the right right so okay. don't don't fall fall prey of uh, this uh, you know the easy money and all of it that might backfire at some point in time wonderful so we don't have time for one more question and this is for the many many people who will listen to our conversation what would your advice be to a young individual starting off on her or his entrepreneurial journey so uh, it's like shaadi ka laddu mm-hmm. <laughs> so i am mm-hmm. i'm used the hindi yeah. jargon sorry yeah. about that yeah uh, it's it's like that right so everybody wants to be an entrepreneur and which is good because mm-hmm. uh, as a child uh, uh, every all of my friend wanted to be either doctor engineer or uh, or scientist right mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that's kind of uh, we want to be but how many become a doctor i wanted to be doctor but never be a doctor so mm-hmm. entrepreneurship is also like that right so you look at big news lot of money you are getting it so i also getting so that's number one problem right so you don't look at that money because that money is an outcome or a by product of something so much of serious uh, pain someone gone through or a team gone through mm. right and uh, but then yes i always encourage to to start your own uh, not for to, for a reason that you need to understand how this whole game works right mm-hmm. from uh, every perspective you are a developer you want to start something then you cannot be developer anymore you have to mm-hmm. look at all aspect of it and it's a great learning you should do it definitely let mm-hmm. it for a uh, let it be fail or success but then those who are at the young age and i have seen who joined our company had attempted uh, startup in couple of times and mm. they kind of get into a situation where they say parents are saying no 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 so <laughs> i said you know it's difficult and mm. everybody has to go through it either you are at 20 or you are at 40 mm. the, the cycle remains same so i would say make it simple uh, both the dreams uh, as well as um, um, you know your goals make it simple mm. and there will be many times where you f- feel cursing yourself mm-hmm. demotivated completely exhausted uh, you know what to do no i uh, i'm going to go out mm. so always remember if you have started something for the right note not really for the money itself but mm. then for to solve a problem remember why you started this whole thing at the, you know at the beginning mm. then probably you will find the lost reason that yes i started this for this reason and i know that i'm going to go through this pain so this pain are beautiful pain mm. so i go through it i go through every single day so um, it's okay it's 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 part of the game and that's mm. where probably uh, you know you get the you get the the moment that you are looking for because if there is no pain if all easy then you don't value it Correct. when you go through this pain you mm. value it and um, 
end of the road, end of the tunnel, when you cross it, you feel so good that you achieve something and this mm. is for life uh, and you can depart from this world uh, with so with a smile saying mm. that you have achieved what you strive for. Oh, wonderful. On, on that note, uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you for talking to me about your amazing journey, about how you have built dieters and E2E hiring. Thank you for talking to me about leadership, about uh, all the work that you are doing in each of these companies across multiple countries. And uh, thank you for the great advice you've given to young entrepreneurs. Thank you for speaking to me and good luck. Thank you so much, uh, Ashutosh. Uh, it's a great meeting you. Thank and you. hope to see you in person and take your blessings as well. Look forward. Thank you for listening to the brand called You Videocast and Podcast platform that brings you knowledge, experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Just search for the brand called You.